A card that an awful lot of people want on FC24 right now, but is extinct at 65,000 coins. is 83 rated Adam Armstrong. And the reason for this is because he can turn into an 89 rated Evolution card. The way you're going to be able to do that is through weak foot, weak foot training into finisher one or two, which costs 100,000 coins. So... At the moment, 165,000 coins. Probably going to be about 200,000 coins if EA do update the price range. The reason people are so interested in this card is because look at those stats. What? What the hell is this card, guys? Honestly, if this was a team of the year, I wouldn't be surprised. That's how good the in-games are. It's got great pace, 99 acceleration, great shooting stats across the board, really good passing for a striker, Agility and balance, both maxed out at 99 with reactions at 99. Ball control at 92 and dribbling at 93 with 85 composure. 99 jumping, 89 head and accuracy, 84 stamina, 79 strength and 99 aggression. Has finesse shot, rapid, quick step, Traveller plus, which you get from finisher and press proven. Now, it's not all, you know, sun, sun and roses with this card. It really isn't because he's a championship player. His links aren't the best because of that. He is five-star weak foot with three-star skill moves. Not all Sun and Roses, as I said, with the three-star skills. High-low work rates, five foot eight and mostly explosive with the chem star we do have applied. Right wing is what he comes out as. Can play right mid striker and left wing as well. And we've applied a marksman. With a marksman applied, 99 finishing shot power and 98 long shots. 99 for both his ball control and dribbling. And goes up to 87 strength. Now, if you do apply this on Futbin, he goes up to a 96 rated striker. Now, of course, as I said, it's not all sunshine and roses, which I've said now for a third time. But, you know, three-star skill moves is a bit of a an issue with this card. And, of course, championship as well. There's a lot of good English players on the game, though. So, that is a bit of a redeeming factor. We've got Sterling, Bellingham, and Lely King linking into him here, as well as a... Can't really see him, but it's an English Championship Manager. Traveller Plus, wow, this card looks very, very special if you can get past the skill moves. We're going to be playing him up front in the 4 3 2 1. Stay central, get behind, and stay forward. Let's get into a few games and see what he can do. If you need cheap, fast, and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to mmoexp.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. Here we go then, guys. First game now coming up with Mr. Armstrong. i tell you something. In the games we played with him to get him up to the 89, really, really good. Now, the great thing about this card is the rapid and the quick step plus with press proven means he can left stick dribble absolutely insane. Sad thing is, you know, the, the free star skill moves can really cause you an issue. Um, For me personally, I, I'm a big fan of skill moves on this game. So for him not to have the skill moves... It's a little bit sad, you know. I don't know if you can put him through skill move training. I suppose not. But that is a little bit of a sad thing about the card. I don't know why he's sitting here. I want to try Trevenna with him. Because his Trevenna's have been okay. Whoa. Okay. They haven't been spectacular in the games leading up to getting him to this rating. Also, apologies about my outfit right now. It's so cold in the UK. It was minus six at seven in the morning today. So... Yeah, it's very, very cold. He's doing that crossfield ball, and that is disgusting behaviour. That is disgusting. Foul ref. It's got to be. It's got to be a foul. Okay, okay. Adam Armstrong is really good at like running in behind, is the thing that I found with him. Jesus Christ, what a win that was from him to there too. He's only five for eight, so for him to, to win that the way he did is quite mad. No options here. We're going to switch this. Gerd Muller is there, but we're going to try and drive into the space and then go backwards into Zorbadia. Get out to Lorente here. Not a lot of options. Into Raheem Sterling. Sterling can't find the ball we need. He's managed to win that header, though. Oof. Oh, the gameplay at the moment. Here is Armstrong, though. Oh, pen? No. Didn't think it would be, to be fair. Where's he sitting here? Is he in the box now? Because he's got good... Uh... Oh, hold on. Here he is. Good save. Very, very good save there. Where is he sitting here this time? Is he, is he same? Is it, he used to come um, out here, which is where you kind of want him for the Travellers and the Finesses. Nice. Look at that left stick dribbling. 
His arm on dribbling doesn't feel spectacular. That's of course because he doesn't have technical. Oh, but that left stick dribbling, man. Oh my word, what a finish, man. What a finish. And that's what you're going to get from him. Incredible left stick dribbling. Not a lot of ability in terms of, you know, skill moves and all of that kind of stuff. But not everybody relies on skill moves. And I, I am one of them people that does, kind of. But I feel like this card is still worth it if you are a, if you if you like a skill move or two because you can really play him as like a super sub. It's an expensive super sub. Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, he feels so rapid. Wow, look at him go. Hold on, hold on. I want to do a Travella. No, never mind. Hold on, Travella is on. Doesn't matter anyway. He's in the box. What a goal that is. Wow. His finishing is literally crazy. He's won that back there too. That's that 99 aggression. And he's so goddamn fast. Oh, no. I should have squared that, maybe. I thought if I grained it, though, even from that acute of an angle, it might have gone in. That's a bit tough not to score there. That's offside, anyway. Nice. Well won back. Gerd Muller. Not a lot of options, but we've got it into Sterling again here. Armstrong with great position in there. Armstrong, and it's 3-0 and a hat-trick from him in 23 minutes. Okay. Very, very impressed early doors here, guys. It's, it's really nice as well because of his 99 aggression. I feel like this is like a team of the season, like Vardy flashback is what it kind of feels like. Bit more dribbling there. Bang! Oh, that's a good block. Is that, that must be that new stones, because I think he's got block plus, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, ref, okay. Okay, we're going to go to some highlights now, guys, I think. Go on in, Armstrong. Mmm, Torella's a bit stinky. What a pass, Jesus. For a striker to be able to find... Okay, Martinelli. For a striker to be able to find that is quite nice. Here he goes again. Wow, the way he breaks away there is mental. What a block that is from Trent. Good pass again from Armstrong. His passing is one thing that I absolutely love about the card. Go on. Oh, such a good tackle. Armstrong's in again. Adam Armstrong. Four goals in this game, guys. And we've got a rage quit in it. This card is insanely good. Come on, Armstrong. Into the space he goes. This should be a goal. Should be a goal. Oh, wow. His Travellers aren't very good, to be fair. Nice, Armstrong. He's in the box. He looks for the cutback. Sterling's there, but Sterling has hit it the wrong way for whatever reason. Go, Armstrong. Go. Nice. Nice. Nice left stick dribbling. He's in the box. He's got an option, and it's now 1-1 one, one in this game. Because he's got press proven and 99 agility balance, man does his left stick dribbling feel out of this world. Oh, he's in. That's got to be a red card. Yes, thank you very much. Come on, Armstrong. This has to go, buddy. Yeah, what a finish. Go on, Armstrong. This is nice. Oh, my God. That's gone in. I've yellow timed it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, that's a lovely little pass around the corner there. Martinelli. <laughs> nice. Jeez, he feels so good on the ball. So, so good on the ball. Good strength there too. He's in the box. Can't find the cutback, but the kind of combination of insane dribbling with actually quite good strength is quite mad to use on this card. What a header. I'm surprised how much he wins in the air, you know. That's nice dribbling, man. Oh, oh, it's a beauty, an absolute beauty. My God, what? I am sorry. What? What is that? Oh, he actually is super cheesy too. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised by this card. Like I was expecting him to be good, right? But some of the things he's doing that I just wasn't expecting, physically and passing wise, is wild. Yeah, yeah. 
I need to try Stravellus properly. Oh, good save. Well, guys, is this card worth the time and the effort? I've, I honestly think if you don't care about skill moves, absolutely 100% yes. He feels really, really strong in game. Of course, with the marksman applied as well, a nice little boost there. The fact that he's got 99 dribbling in every single stat other than composure with the marksman as well is bonkers, and you can really feel that in game. If you guys know how to do the sprint boost, he might be the best at the sprint boost on the game, in my opinion, with these two play styles as well. Agility and balance is really important for getting the good sprint boost. And, you know, 99 agility and balance reactions, ball control and dribbling certainly is helping that. Really likes his passing, actually, as well. So there's an argument to be made that this card is better served out wide because he's so good at getting down the byline and finding the cutback. But you have a few options for this card. You play him at that centre forward role if you want. You play him at the striker role. Even like a middle cam would be quite good for him. I know you want the skills there, but if you don't care about skills, this card can quite literally play anywhere across the front line, which is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Shooting-wise, absolutely insane. Other than Travellers. You know, he's got Traveller Plus, but his Travellers weren't too good, in my opinion. And, as I said, if you don't do skill moves, this card is a lot better than Daniel Marlin, in my opinion. But if you're a big skill move guy, I would take Daniel Marlin over Armstrong. Now, for me, I'm a big skiller, so I prefer Daniel. But if that's not really in your repertoire and you don't utilise it, then Adam Armstrong will be the best striker on the game for you. He's He is really, 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 really good, guys. Um, you know, he, he's a lot better at a lot of things. He's, he's better almost everywhere than Marlon, other than his Travellers. Um, but, you know, it, it just is the skill moves for me. And personally, I'll try him out this weekend league. But I think Marlon will definitely slot back in there eventually. Just because, you know, I just prefer the five-star skills. In saying that, though, guys, I think if you're a big skiller also... Using this card off the bench would be absurd. You know, bringing him on with his crazy agility, balance, reactions, and crazy shooting and pace with good physicals off the bench in like the 70th minute, he will absolutely demolish down the flanks and against the centre half. So this card is certainly worth getting, in my opinion. Might take you a bit of time. Similar with Marlon, you know, he's so hard to snipe. So is Armstrong. But we did manage to get him on a snipe um, using this transfer market method here. And he is an absolute monster. Just a bit poor with the Travellers. And sad that he doesn't have more than three-star skills. And, of course, the links can be a bit of an issue. I would certainly play him on one or two chem as well, guys. But for me, being a five-star skill fan, he is going to be a bench warmer and super sub for me, in my opinion. I think the quality of the card is like an eight and a half out of ten. I think the value for him is genuinely like a ten out of ten. Because you won't get many better finishers, um, insane dribblers on the game until team of the season. I know that sounds wild, but that is the honest-to-God truth. And I think you should consider this card if you haven't used both of your finisher Evos yet or the weak foot training. But guys, if you ever enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, subscribe to the review. But guys, it's going to be it for me for now. So take care.